Yo, what's good, guys? It's your boy, JB. Y'all already know I just started playing Madden online, but a lot of people hit me up on my Instagram talking about do trash talk videos. What do y'all think? For real, for real. Like, I don't know. But make sure y'all hit the thumbs up button. Make sure y'all subscribe, man. You feel me? If y'all want to play Insane Crazy 92A, is my GT. You feel me? But I got another banger for you guys, man. And let's get right into it. Sports has come to the Twin Cities at U.S. Bank Stadium in downtown Minneapolis. The scene a short time ago, this crowd decked out in purple, and they were in full roar as their guys burst out of the locker room. We're ready for football, folks, as the Vikings get set to do battle with the Baltimore Ravens. On the return, Devin Duvernay. And he returns this to the 22. First and ten, it's Jackson. Got his man complete over the middle. It's Brown. Five yards on the game's first play. Second down. Now it's Jackson. And Jackson cannot get away, and he'll go down. Nick Vigil able to get in there and drop him behind the line. From the gun on third down, Jackson. Flush to his right. First down and more for Jackson. And he is finally out of bounds, but not before taking it down inside the 30. Big yardage there on the scramble. It gets him a first down. Oh, Lamar Jackson just so electric, Charles, when he gets into open space, and we saw exhibit A right there. You know something? I'm standing up here in the booth next to you watching the play. He buckled my ankles on that one as well. <laughs> it doesn't matter whether you're actually on the field trying to chase him or you're just watching him play. This guy is sheer excitement. Now he was looking for Rashad Bateman there. From the red zone now, here's Jackson on first down. And that'll be taken in by Andrews for a Ravens touchdown. Mark Andrews. There to make the grab. And the Ravens have taken the early lead. He got it figured out by the goal line. This is where a tight end earns his money in the high traffic area. And he's able to work free in the middle of the end zone and grabs that one for a touchdown. A throw there, but that's going to wind up incomplete. Boy, so they don't get the conversion, but they're going to go right into the onside kick formation. And this one travels out of bounds. So... Play action. Cousins. Swinging this out wide here for Cook. And he works it past the 30, almost to the 25. Utilize players that don't often get picked up in coverage easily. And I'm talking about being able to use the backs out of the backfield. Because I know that when I used to cover, hey, we got everybody cut. Oh, he just snuck out there, and they just got a nice first down there. What do we love to say? Get those backs into space, right? And they were able to do that there. Nice pickup on first down. No, he was hit as he threw it there. Thing into coverage right there. There weren't really any throwing lanes, but the best part for him, he's got second and third down to fall back on. And he went backwards. He'll be down at the 30. But you bottle him in at varying levels because if you crowd everyone to the line of scrimmage, if he breaks through, there's nothing but room to run. Got an open man finding Jefferson. And he... They'll run for it with Cook. It's a loss of four on the first down play. Swarming when you're carrying it. Second and goal from the six this time. From the shotgun, it's Cousins. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. To no avail. A big play forthcoming. Here's third and goal. Working out of the gun, Cousins. And this is going to be intercepted. Picked off by the Pro Bowler, Marcus Peters. He's at the 50, the 30, the 20, 
bring it. And he will bring this back. It's a pick six and a Raven touchdown. And they were here. You're already up. Now you got a two touchdown lead. I tell you, going out there on defense, did they have a little bit of extra momentum with a score already on the board? Oh, without a doubt. That already felt good to them. They took it and used it and obviously put up another one. But here's the thing now. Some defense coordinators might want to pull their guys back a little bit because they don't want them to make mistakes because they're too over -amp. Others say, I've got two touchdown lead. Go get them, guys. They'll be even more aggressive. Amir Abdullah going to take it out of the end zone. Abdullah's going to stay... Here are the Vikings now to start their next drive. And last time, decent field position through the pick six. Obviously costly. But they can't afford to just bunker in now. All right, they, good field position means go ahead and attack it. And now off to the races, down the They're right side. To Touchdown, Vikings. Yes, I'm not sure there's anybody in the league that has the acceleration that he does, and he put it to good effect there. I think defensively, when you look at a play like that, that's when everyone looks at their teammates and starts shaking their heads a little bit because now you're wondering, what are we in for? Worked all week to try and limit the big playability that he possesses, and he winds up taking one to the house in the very first quarter. That was a tremendous run. Oh, the return is Duvernay. And not much happening on the return as he'll get this to about the 20. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. And they're hoping to redo their efforts in the last drive when they got into the end zone. And just think of what it's like now on the sideline. Because when you score a touchdown, you have to go up and look at the tag and see what you did on the last drive. When you score points, it's a whole lot better. Touchdown! Devin Duvernay, 77 yards. I gave him when I was eight. I needed to go to the bathroom. Of course, while we're in the bathroom, grand slam home run. Well, it tends to happen that way, doesn't it? Yeah, my dad still hasn't forgiven me. Amir Abdullah going to take it out of the end zone. And Abdullah will not try to bring it out. The Minnesota offense about ready to get this next drive underway. And coming off a one-play drive that was so deflating for the defense, what, what's their mentality? How do they rally here and stop this offense? Well, hopefully there's some determination that sets in because I, they weren't ready to go on the last one. Give all the credit to the offense determined. Are they ready to read their keys and make the proper plays? And we'll see how determined they are. On the ground, it's Cook. Give him three on first down. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. Play action now. Cousins. Open man here is Conklin. And he's out of bounds. Cousins now. That'll be complete to Cook. And he oh takes his my God. To the 30. An excellent pickup of 20 yards. Yeah, these are the types of plays they're going to need to hit on if they're going to get back into this game. It hasn't been the greatest of first half. But this is a nice throw here on third down, and they keep the drive going. Dancing to his left. Finding room to the 20. Oh, shit. And he will score. Touchdown. And the Vikings are able to make this a close game again. And maybe the defense got so caught up in him throwing the football, they forgot he can take off, too. And you often hear about the quarterback being the unaccounted for guy as a runner. Well, even on the passing play, he's unaccounted for as a runner, and he turned it into a nice game. A very nice run, and it turns in to six points. Oh, the return is Duvernay. Oh, a dangerous return man showing it here. Dix. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. And following that long touchdown pass, a one-plug drive last time, to see if the defense, you, you know they're ready. They don't want that to happen again. And you would have thought they would have been ready the yeah, last that's time. That's I mean, true. that's what you work on all the time. Make sure that no one gets behind you. That's the cardinal sin of defense, not giving up the long pass. They did. Let's see how they adjust. Here a throw taken in by Watkins. And all the way in for a Raven 
Watkins, touchdown. Sammy Watkins, 33 yards. And the Ravens are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. And a nice job by him to catch the slant and then navigate and break free. And receivers love slant routes because it gets the ball in their hands so quickly and oftentimes on the move. And when they're on the move like that, then they get to use their best asset, which is usually their speed. And their speed sometimes, like this instance, can take them into the end zone. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone. Here are the Vikings now to start their next drive. And it's a unit last drive that did it all on the ground, Charles. And they controlled it from the interior. Big on big, right? Off and off as well. Your wide receivers, your tight ends, lead runners, anything that you have possible to get in front and keep the ball moving. And now the defense may be looking out for a pass coming up. And this one is incomplete. They're going to back up and make them really earn it. The Vikings on third down. They've been okay. Two for three thus far. This is going to be third and 13. He'll dump this off to Cook. And he'll go down just shy of the 25 at the 24-yard line. Cousins in the offense is going to stay out there. They're going to try on fourth down. They'll indeed go for it. It's Cousins. A hit as he throws, and this is going to be incomplete. Boy, a real head scratcher there. And the Ravens get the football back and in great shape. They'll throw on first down with Jackson. They set up the screen for Dobbins. He's to the 10. And in for the Ravens touchdown. J.K. Dobbins, a 24-yard touchdown. And the Ravens will extend their lead. So that pretty conclusively, I might add, shows you the perils of going for it. Uh, make that, man. One. The Minnesota offense about ready to get this next drive underway. And last time they were very fortunate, this offense. They went for it on four, turned it over in their own territory. But the other guys held up. They <laughs> didn't give up any points. So how about the guy with the number one headset? Fair to say, hasn't been his best game throwing the football, but also not getting a lot of help out there either. Yeah, you kind of you nailed it pretty well, you know. <laughs> He's got to throw it better. Got to get more help. Obviously one that should have been caught. They got five. Oh, my God. Those two elements Come together on. so they can make some progress in this one. Now a deep ball there on second down, but it'll wind up incomplete. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has them staring at a third and ten. Off the play fake, Cousins. Give me that. Looking for Jefferson, but this is intercepted. Picked off by Marlon Humphrey. I need to get my slot. And he will bring this back. It's a pick six and a Raven touchdown. That pick six extending this lead even further. And boy, it's been a while since I've seen a team struggle this badly. I'll take a run through any day, but you're telling me that's why I started off. I had to get you on record. He will play off the ball more than he has his whole career said Shannon. You know, I feel we might play as well at the, at the five or the four. It don't matter. He's on our team. <laughs> and he wants a chance this year. How about that? I don't want to get caught up in There you have it, guys. Hey, if you're new to my channel, just make sure y'all go ahead and subscribe, man. Hit the notification bell, and we're going to give y'all more content later, man. Peace.